What's up, seniors? Hey, hey, welcome to our 13th week of uh, motivational sharing. Well, our topic today will deal more on health versus age. <laughs> so the question is, what are the signs that a person is healthy? You know, as they move up the ladder of years called aging, all right? Well, of course, many studies have been conducted about this, right? To determine the signs of good and bad health. But most of the studies, as you know, usually focus more on the uh, right negative side. That is, you know, what changes to expect and what not to do, right? The tendency is to, you know, our tendency is to believe that Aging is like a curse. You know? So most people, when they reach the age of 50 or even younger than that, like 40, they feel like the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. <laughs> it's like Matt Munro now <laughs> singing, okay? So, uh, well, it's a joke. So let's set this aside and uh, focus more on the signs of healthy people. Or shall I say healthy seniors, all right? So, um, when can you say that uh, you are healthy as you age? I got three, uh, three things for you here. Number one is agility and balance, right? We have talked about this many times. And, uh, you know, agility and balance have something to do with physical strength or otherwise known as postural control. Right, so maintaining or sustaining this physical strength is, uh, of course, very vital and necessary since it has something to do with our mobility and uh, preventing the risk of falling. So in short, the, uh, the area or part of the body to be maintained is your lower torso, right? Right there, right? Uh, from the waist down to your toes, right? So toes, okay. Yeah, you heard it right, toes. Right, so the Life Power Rebound course challenge will provide these tips, the techniques and strategies for using your toes. Right, well, number two is uh, uh, weight maintenance, or weight management, which has a direct relation to the first one. I have mentioned this in one of the videos there too, right? There are several uh, standards or established weights uh, per age bracket, although I've said that the it is better to have a weight that you feel more comfortable, right? So one that could hold your balance with no pain experiences on your ankle, your knees and hips. Of course, <laughs> it goes without saying, your mobility, right? Okay, so uh, the third one is mental health or shall I say emotional quotient, yeah? So the mind has a great influence on our body, right? So how do you maintain this? This refers to your positivity, your right positive mental attitude or outlook, right? In whatever situations you are in, you know, you need a constant social communication. Be with your family, with your friends, your community, right? And uh, be an active participant in any community events or some forums or fora, right? So why is this so? This will help you reduce the risk of cognitive decline and help, you know, it will help you manage your stress as well, right? So by uh, doing this, you, you have the three elements that's to combine, right? To sustain a proper neuromuscular function, meaning mental and physical function. So a sign that it is a sign that a person is healthy and see as she increases her age. All right, so think about this seriously, buddy. Live a healthy and productive life. Life is beautiful, okay? Live your life, man. So there, don't miss out on this course. Dive in and enroll now, right? The Life Power Rebound Course Challenge. Now, click that link to the course. You can find that in the uh, comment box down there, right? And uh, yes, don't forget to hit that like button share <laughs> you need to and leave some comments and uh, yeah subscribe uh, hit that subscribe button too so you can get uh, updates every week okay this is just for you buddy all right so rev up and flex up
See you next week. All right, bye.